There are many mistakes, my brothers and sisters, that the people fall into whilst they pray. And these mistakes that they fall into, many of them are acts of sin and disobedience. So whilst you are within an act of worship, you are committing a sin. So from those mistakes that we find our brothers falling into, is praying in tight garments, such as wearing tight trousers in the salah, such that the shape of the aura is visible. And this is forbidden generally for a Muslim, meaning even outside of the acts of ibadah, it is haram for a Muslim to wear garments that reveal his or her aura. And how much more severe is it that a person stands before Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in conversation with Allah, directing his ibadah and his recital to Allah and his dhikr to Allah, yet he is praying before Allah in garments that are forbidden. From the second of those affairs that, are, that the Muslims commonly fall into of error, is praying in thin garments through which the through which the aura or that which is to be concealed is visible such that the limbs under that garment become noticeable praying in such garments it violates a condition from the conditions of the prayer and that is satr al aura covering of the aura is an obligation from the third of those affairs is that one should not pray in his night garments meaning that you don't pray in your pajamas or those garments that you wear during the night or that you pray in those garments that carry foul odors or garments that are dirty and repel other worshippers and repel the angels likewise. And from the most important of those affairs is the salah. O children of Adam, take your proper adornment whilst praying in every masjid. From the fourth of those affairs and from the sins that are committed in the prayer is the isbal, is allowing your garment to fall below your ankle. So those men who allow their garments, whether it be trousers, to fall below the ankle, then you have fallen into major sin, whether in the prayer or outside of the prayer. The one who allows his garment, the hem of his garment to fall below his ankles, then he is a fasiq. He is an open sinner. That Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, ثَلَاثَةٌ لَا يُكَلِّمُهُمُ اللَّهُ يَوْمُ الْقِيَامَةِ وَلَا يَنْظُرُوا إِلَيْهِمْ وَلَا يُزَكِّيهِمْ وَلَهُمْ عَذَابٌ عَلِيمٌ وَإِنَ اللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَالَى has said that they are three whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not speak to Yawm Al-Qiyamah and Allah will not look towards them. Who are they, O Messenger of Allah? So the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned Al-Musbil, the one who allows the hem of his lower garment to fall below his ankle and the one who recounts the good that he, that he has done for another person. So you did some good for someone and then you say, remember that day that I did that for you? Remember that day that I did that for you? Remember that occasion I did that for you? Remember when I gave you that? And the third person, the seller of goods and he sells his good. He sells what he owns or what he wishes to sell by making false oaths. Wallahi, this is the best thing that there ever was created on the earth. Wallahi, that this is the best that you will find. Wallahi, wallahi. And you know that you're lying. That Allah's Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam that he said, he who arrogantly lets his garment fall below his ankles in his prayer, then Allah will not pardon him, nor will Allah protect him from the fire of hell.